Stanley Turvey, a declared armed fugitive and a member of the Fink's Bikey Club, has died after being shot by the police during a standoff in northern Victoria on the morning of Wednesday, September 20, 2023. This marks the end of the largest manhunt in the state over the past eight years, spanning across regional Victoria. Turvey had been on the run for the last three days, during which he committed a series of crimes, including discharging a firearm in close proximity to police, engaging in confrontations by driving at police officers, forcibly abducting a man at gunpoint, carjacking a vehicle, and assaulting a woman while moving between Victoria and New South Wales. Specialist Operations Group police were in pursuit of the 33-year-old at a residence in Ardmona, shortly after 10.15 a.m. upon receiving information about his presence there. According to the police statement, when officers encountered Turvey, he produced a firearm, following which he was shot by the officers. He then received initial medical assistance in the driveway of the residence before paramedics arrived and declared him dead. As standard procedure, the homicide squad detectives are now conducting an investigation into the incident, with oversight from the Professional Standards Command. The state coroner has also been notified. The story unfolds at midday on Monday, the 18th of September, when police responded to a property in Katandra West, a small town within the regional city of Shepparton, in relation to a firearms prohibition order. At the property, police encountered Fink's bikey Stan Turvey, who was startled upon seeing the officers. He produced a firearm from his possession and subsequently discharged it twice into the air, causing the police officers to retreat. Despite their retreat, police remained at the property and gave chase to Turvey, who fled the scene in a vehicle, initiating a three-day cross-border crime spree. During the pursuit, at least seven police vehicles engaged in a high-speed chase, during which one police vehicle lost control and rolled over on Creighton Road in Katandra West. Two officers sustained minor injuries in the crash. Turvey then stopped at a property in Yuenmite, about 16 kilometers from Katandra West, where he forced a man to drive him across the border to Finlay, New South Wales. Victoria Police then made contacts with the New South Wales Police and informed them of the cross-border incident. A warrant was then issued for Turvey, describing him as about 175 centimeters tall with a medium build, blue eyes and distinctive facial and body tattoos, including the word family above his left eyebrow and a grenade tattoo on his cheek. Police also issued a warning for him to surrender. This is high victim impact type offending that must have been very traumatic for the individuals involved. Any matter that involves a display of a firearm in order to secure goods or transport is a recipe for disaster and heartache. For that particular reason, we are imploring the public to notify police on 000 if they seek the whereabouts of that particular vehicle or Stanley. Also, we are appealing to Stanley not to escalate these particular matters, but to make contact with police to resolve this peacefully and without harm to him or to any other person. The following morning, at approximately 10 a.m. on Tuesday, Turvey, armed with a firearm, committed another crime by assaulting a woman in Yarrawonga, further adding to his list of offenses. He then proceeded to steal a white Toyota Hilux from a construction worker at Sacred Heart College, which was later recovered by the police. On Wednesday morning, led by the intelligence gathered by both Victoria Police and New South Wales Police, Specialist Operations Group officers were dispatched to a property in Ardmona. At this location, the officers came face to face with Turvey, he was armed, and officers shot him. Turvey received immediate medical attention in the driveway of the residence, but paramedics later pronounced him dead. Turvey had a significant history with law enforcement, with prior criminal records and outstanding warrants, including those issued in 2016 and 2018. He was recognized by many residents in the Greater Shepparton area as a habitual drug user, a reputation that often brought with it concerns about public safety, social disturbances, and potential criminal activity in the community. His rap sheet included crimes like assault, gun violence, drug dealing, and a history of evading law enforcement. Furthermore, he had faced charges related to theft, property damage, and reckless behavior. The Homicide Squad will investigate Turvey's death and the probe will be overseen by Professional Standards Command as per standard protocol. Addressing the media, Assistant Commissioner Karen Neholm expressed that the outcome was not the one the police had hoped for. She went on to explain, our intention was to safely apprehend him, but it became necessary to prioritize the safety of the public and ourselves in that critical situation. 
Assistant Commissioner acknowledged that the officers involved would be impacted by Turvey's death and highlighted the likely trauma experienced by Turvey's family. She also noted that this pursuit represented the most substantial manhunt conducted by Victoria Police since 2015.